our globe is bathed with light. Thanks to that, we can see everything around us with our eyes. However, not all animals need eyes to see. They have distinct sets of sensory nerves that help them see and feel things without eyes like us. Welcome to Give a Fact, and you are watching Top Animals Without Eyes. If you like this kind of video, be sure to subscribe for more great content, or tell us what you want to learn more about in the comment section below. Now, let's get straight to the video, shall we? 1. Starfish Starfish have historically been thought of as simple animals. Since their eyes are also relatively simple, and because they lack a brain, it was difficult to figure out how or even if they could see. They have things called eyes on the ends of each arm, but how they control them is still unknown. Starfish have compound eyes, like the ones on arthropods such as insects or lobsters. But the resemblance ends there. For example, blue sea star eyes lack lenses, unlike arthropods. The sea star field of view is large enough to pick out a coral reef in front of them, but since blue sea star eyes don't have lenses, the images they form are fairly rough. In a 2018 experiment, scientists also combined physical measurements of the eye itself with behavioral experiments by moving individual blue sea stars off of a coral reef near Okinawa, Japan, to see if the animals could make their way back or not. It turned out that starfish displaced about a meter from the reef walked back home in pretty much a straight line during the day, but wandered around randomly if they were taken away at night. Those placed either 2 meters or 4 meters away ended up wandering around randomly. 2. Chinese pygmy mice Pygmy dormice are one of only a small number of creatures able to use sound, in the form of sonar, to navigate their surroundings. Under the cover of darkness in the mountainous forests of East Asia, Chinese pygmy mice emerge from the trees to scurry about the branches and forest floor, scarfing up berries, seeds, and insects. What makes this remarkable is that these animals are almost completely blind. When scientists looked at Chinese pygmy mice eyeballs under a microscope, they quickly learned that its visual organs are a total mess. So how do they get around? The mice get a sense of their surroundings and navigate by sending out high-frequency squeaks and then listening for the echoes that bounce off nearby objects. This is called echolocation, which is used by some mammals such as bats and cetaceans, like whales, dolphins, and porpoises. Like most echoes of these animals, Pygmy dormice's calls are incredibly faint. They escape both the human ear and devices called bat detectors scientists usually employ to listen in on bat chatter. This was an exciting discovery of 2017 because of several reasons. For starters, it's the first for the rodent order. Second, it opens up a question, what led pygmy dormice down this evolutionary path? Because there are clearly plenty of rodents who get along just fine without the aid of ultrasonic clicks. But none of these is as tantalizing as what an echolocating rodent means for our understanding of bat evolution. If we only just discovered echolocation in a dormouse, who knows what secrets other critters might be able to teach us about predator-prey interactions, co-evolution, or even the inner workings of the human brain. All we have to do, it seems, is find new ways to listen. 3. Star-Nosed Mole The star-nosed mole is a very distinctive mammal covered in dark brown, water-repellent fur, and wide forefeet tipped with talons that are designed for digging. The palms of their pinkish and black feet face outwards. Their feet also make excellent rudders, steering their bodies as they swim through the water. Their tail is long and hairy, and in winter it swells up with fat, making it four times larger than its normal size, so as to serve as a fat storage organ to help the mole survive the winter months. The star-nosed mole is functionally blind. They are colorblind and only poorly see light and movement, so its strange-looking snout was long suspected to be used to sense their prey. The mole hunts by bopping its star against the soil as quickly as possible. It can touch 10 or 12 different places in a single second. With each touch, 100,000 nerve fibers send information to the mole's brain. That's five times more touch sensors than in the human hand all packed into a nose smaller than a fingertip. Scientists have discovered that a giant star pattern that mirrors the mole's strange nose is imprinted right into the brain's anatomy. Each time the mole presses its star to the soil, it creates essentially a star-shaped view of its surroundings, and these images come together in its brain like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. 
Did you know that the star-nosed mole is one of two animals in the world known to smell underwater? By blowing air bubbles and sucking them back into its nose, the star nose is the only mole species, there are 39, that lives in swamps and marshes. Its exquisite snout may have evolved to help it quickly scarf down lots of tiny soft-bodied prey in its waterlogged environment. 4. Blind Cavefish Few animals have ignored the warning, use it or lose it, as spectacularly as the Mexican blind cavefish, which no longer has eyes. With food so scarce in caves, the animals have to save their energy and being sightless gives them a major boost, according to a team from Sweden's Lund University. The researchers cracked the puzzle by looking at members of the same fish species that live above ground, in rivers of Texas and Mexico, and which have perfect vision. The results showed that for young, developing fish, the energy cost of sight is 15% greater than if they were blind. Scientists also found that as underground caves are often poor in food and oxygen, natural selection would favor individuals with reduced visual capacity. Any animal that lives in permanent darkness and doesn't need vision to find food or avoid predators won't really need its eyes or visual centers in the brain. Indeed, the findings also show that blind cavefish have significantly smaller midbrains, the part that deals with vision. In 2018, scientists also found that these eyeless fish can live healthily with no insulin in their bodies. Insulin is an essential key to turning blood glucose, also called blood sugar, from the food we eat into energy. In people with type 2 diabetes, their insulin is either not working correctly or not being produced enough, and high blood sugar often results. Similarly, cavefish also experience elevated blood sugar, but they surprisingly have few health impacts from it. Researchers are trying to figure out how they are in such good health to find out the cure for diabetes in humans. 5. Olm Olms aren't entirely blind. The larvae are actually born with eyes, which regress shortly after the animals hatch. Adult Olm's vestigial eyes remain photosensitive, though they are beneath the skin. If you shine a light near an Olm, it would likely flee. While they don't have much in the way of vision, the Olm's other senses, particularly smell and hearing, are quite sharp. In recent research in 2022, Scientists scanned the heads of the Ulm and one of its relatives, the endearing axolotl, at different stages of development in order to compare their divergent anatomies. They found that the Ulm's olfactory cavities are elongated compared to the surface-dwelling axolotls, a sign that the blind salamander's sense of smell improved as its sight declined. Special cells running the length of their bodies can detect tiny pressure changes caused by fish and creatures moving in the water nearby. Ohms also boast organs that can detect weak electric fields of animals around them, and specialized tissues in the salamander's inner ears grant them an acute underwater hearing. These heightened senses come in handy when an ohm hunts its prey of cave-dwelling fish, crabs, and insects, which the salamander swallows whole instead of biting or chewing. One mystery the ohm brain scans didn't reveal much about was the animal's capacity for regeneration. Like the axolotl, the Ulm is able to regrow body parts, an ability that makes these salamanders an intriguing subject of study for the future of human medicine. And that is a wrap. What did you learn from this video? Let us know in the comment section below. We hope that our educational videos will help spread the knowledge so everyone can protect our world and biodiversity together. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you find our videos useful and want us to make more videos. Until next time, give a fact.